superficial siderosis is caused by opening up the spinal cord. It's not an inherited disease and it's not something you can catch. It comes from a trauma. And basically what it is, it's iron on your brain and on, in your spine on the nerves. And iron is toxic to your brain after it's cleared as much as it could. And I had had surgery at Mayo Clinic for uh, a tethered spinal cord and I also have a double spinal cord. I found out that that is probably the reason that I now have this rare disease called superficial siderosis. I was in a car accident when I was 17. I'm 57. I wasn't diagnosed until eight years ago. So my electrical system is all messed up. Oh, I can't smell, can't taste. I have speech issues like slurring, connection between what you're thinking and trying to get it out of your mouth, wobbly. I'm a recluse, I'm becoming a recluse. It's, it's changed our life, it's turned it upside down. You know, it uh, completely changed our plan. It's a combination of Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, Lou Gehrig's disease, MS. Now we're lucky and happy if we take a walk down the road together. I think there's maybe 200 people in the country that have it. I had a tough time finding information. Um, I finally found a website for rare disease and one of those diseases was the superficial siderosis. My doctor said, you know more about what you have than I do. It doesn't bother you. And I said, you know, no, we'll learn together. You know, there's really one doctor that specializes in it. It's Dr. Levy out in Boston. He had a small paper on a very small drug trial and we downloaded the information off the internet and I, we carried it to our PCP. I'm here tonight to a superficial siderosis conference to, to get more information as to what my life might be in the future. It's our hope to help find a cure. There are a lot of people out there that are just now having the trauma and they, are, they have their whole lives ahead of them. If we can help them not have to go through what we're going through, then that's what we want. My brain is for, for these people, for my people. The research would really help. Patient population is so small that we're overlooked and we just don't get the funding that we need. It's up to the patients and the patients' families to advocate and raise funds on our own.